coming down the line today I'm behind the property here about I'm not to the wolf bait yet but I got uh, I'm rigged up here to start setting snares for days and that's that's definitely wolf wolf hair and there's a trail kind of going through the grass there cutting across there's one just back there ways as well but that's going to get a snare and uh, any other place that looks acceptable I uh, I don't know how many snares I can get set, but all of them, if <laughs> if that was possible, I'd be fine with that. It's not going to be possible. But, whatever the case, best get after it. That bait might look familiar. It's a classic wolf bait. I set this up probably three, four days ago. So I'm coming in here, checking snares past four snares so far empty. Come up for this one and it is not empty. There's a gray wolf in there. I was disappointed that this snare never caught anything last year. But it looks like we got a small, pretty decent, well, pretty decent cat circle. And there's, it doesn't look very big, but I could be wrong. It's kind of... Find some trees. Come in here and have a look. I'm gonna grab my cutters. If I can find them, there they are. Not super cold out. That was the other thing is that if I had wolves in here, I didn't want to leave them too long. Because uh, it gets minus 10 at night and then it's like minus one maybe in the day, which isn't very cold. more snares on the other side of these willows that's the other thing I didn't want to wait too long otherwise I don't remember where all my snares are I dropped like 25 or 26 in here when I set I just walked around and set and so I'm gonna have to walk where I walked before and look and count count all my snares because I know how many I have in here, so that's the other reason I didn't want to wait too long. <laughs> I don't have a, I don't mark them all. But this is this is like not a big wolf though. Might only be a pup. That was my my hang wire. Oh no, it's got a little bit of weight on it. Oh, that's so awesome. No idea. Well, a lot of you trappers do. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Catching wolves is the best. It's a female. Oh, is she ever crisp. Look at that fur. Oh, yeah. I wonder, that might be the mother. Maybe not. It was really hard. I got so many 
I got so many videos of those wolves, I could identify some of them. But when it comes to a whole bunch of gray wolves, there are, I mean, there's one limping, doesn't walk on its back leg. There's the pups. There's one with a collar on it. There's a really big male. And then, well, that's four. It means there's two that are kind of not those ones. I think this is one of the not those ones wolves. I'm looking here to see what the wolves did about this. How much checking it out they did. Number one, baby. Dig. Got to get at least one picture of this. That's what I'm talking about. All right. I'll shut you off and turn you on again soon. Do a little bit of live action kind of style here. Video as I walk in. See what I see. Smile, we're on video. Uh, not seeing a whole lot of Say that better, not seeing any tracks here. Some tracks or something. Ah, mostly coyote. We're getting in kind of behind where I caught that one. And I see we got another one. Oh yeah, right behind where I caught that other one. There was something about trapping wolves that you had to get right, which I could never get quite right. And I think I did it this time. What it is, you may ask. Maybe it's feed them. Maybe it set snares before it snows. Uh, what are the other things? Oh yeah, whenever you drop off bait or you're checking your cameras or something, walk around in the bush on all their trails, get them used to you. And then, yeah, when you set your snares before it snows, you really set snares. Like, you don't just set two, you set them all. There's gotta be something, it's something to that effect and snare placement. That's a pretty little wolf. That's a pretty, pretty little wolf. Absolutely. Not turning around. Oh, maybe it's not so little either. Uh, stiff. That is a... one of those I could probably find that one on my cameras and all my videos and stuff I never really know which way I caught them going oh gotta not forget take plenty of pictures do a little bit of a distance I took a picture of this one when I set the snare and now I've got evidence. Oh, I'm so, so happy. Happy, happy, happy.
Most of you who trap wolves will know exactly what I'm talking about. Happy, happy, happy. Oh, I caught the gibbled. That's why. I caught the gibbled leg wolf. <laughs> this this is bigger than I thought. That's why. This wolf is bigger than I thought. I remember seeing this one on video. I'll probably try and... Holy crap! That's a big wolf. I remember getting him on video. Looking at that and be like, he is huge. And then... Sure enough, he is big. Five, six... In case anyone's curious, 564th, 1 by 19 cable. I got a big stinger spring on him, which this one is definitely set off. Oh yeah. 95 pounds maybe. Gotta make sure. Nope, that's a female. I thought it was a male because it had the appearance had the appearance of one. It was really quite big, you know. And that'd be why it's limping. That's the bone. And then somewhere, yeah, the bone's completely misplaced. It's not where it's supposed to be. Looks like the wolf definitely fought hard enough. Went under that tree and a little bit of cat circle over there. But always helps the time to something really solid. And with the trigger powered and the uh, stinger spring on it, on the snare, you really want them to be able to hit that snare as hard as they can. Like you really want them to just wham, hit that, hit the snare. It really sets that cable in deep and puts pressure on the spring and uh, chokes them out quicker. There's been studies done. It's quicker by a long shot, actually. It's as humane as you can get. Yeah. Oh man. I want to squeal like a little girl. I'm so excited. I'm going to go check a few other snares and then I'll drag this one out. This phone's difficult because the camera placement lens is strange. Checking this another snare. Looks like we got another one. It's a black one. I had good faith in this snare. I tell you what, see? This is my hang wire. I had it set right here. Oh wait, <laughs> that's not a wolf. That's a wolverine. Okay. <laughs> What a bonkers day. Oh man. Kite tracks coming to check it out a little bit. I wonder. Oh, I think I set two snares. That's why I saw a hang wire, a uh, little support wire sitting there. Yeah, I think Wolverine's probably caught in two snares. Yeah, that's right. See, wire is just kind of going in every direction. Got a bricky little face on him. That's 
sounder. Might have to do a little bit of surgery work on this cable just to get this thing off. I'll get back to you in a minute. Andy. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna weigh some of these up and then, uh, yeah, wait for morning. I'll skin them up. Wait for them to dry off a bit.